What's up, Will Pack? I'm Josiah Edwards. And I'm Ashley Burton. Today is September 9th, and we are here for your distance learning news. Capital Christian has had a lot of advancement with their school. Let's check it out. My name is Ty, I'm a sophomore. I've been at Capital Christian since uh, fifth grade. Been through the middle school, and now obviously entering my sophomore year. I am the sophomore class president on ASB. Um, we are doing online learning in reality. We, most students across the state right now, they're tuning into Zoom classes. We're still doing that. Like I will, I'm in a classroom and then say like, normally my English teacher's class would be down the hall that way. But instead of, you know, switching, going that way, I... So from what uh, I've been uh, experiencing, uh, we are Every, we are put into groups of I, I want there's a is a, it's a very small group the limit is like only nine, 10 or 12 and I have like eight other students in my group or like seven other students in my group we are in a classroom with a teacher who is our who is our life group leader um and we uh we were able to get we're able to talk to each other and help each other out with fast work and we'll play like some like socially distanced board games we'll watch like uh, and like during breaks and like during lunch, we'll like watch a movie together, like uh, the projector. That's all the questions that I have. Um, I mean, if you want anything else. Let's hope we have a football season in, in the winter, right? <laughs> Here's a message from Coach Lester. All are invited to join the CO cross country team. We are currently postponed practice until next week due to the fluctuation in air quality. Contact Coach Laster at alassets at egusd.net or through Synergy email. COVID-19 has become a massive problem for America and all places around the world. Let's check out to see how other countries are dealing with COVID. With the United States contributing 23% of COVID cases worldwide, it makes you wonder what are other countries doing differently? The United States has up to 3,000 times as many cases than countries such as New Zealand, Iceland, and Cuba. Many countries with low case counts and or death tolls clearly communicated the dangers of COVID-19 to citizens before they even had any cases. And once there were cases, they swiftly implemented curfews and testing to stop the spread. In Iceland, a specialist task force, lovingly nicknamed the Holy Trinity, was assembled to fight COVID, giving daily press briefings from day one. In addition, they had the highest ratio of tests per capita worldwide, thanks to their small population. To help relieve financial stress, mortgage and rent payments were frozen, and businesses were offered up to 75% of their wage bill if they could prove they'd lost that amount of business. Many countries that have handled the pandemic well, like Germany, Taiwan, and Finland, have been led by women. This isn't to say that women are better at handling a virus, but that people of diverse perspectives and backgrounds were able to take on that role. Also, women don't have to go against male gender norms like being fearless, aggressive, or projecting power. Some people, such as conservative journalist David Marcus, believe that if Trump wears a mask, it'd be a signal of powerlessness against an invisible enemy. A country's number of cases may be high for many different reasons, whether it be dense population, not having a quick enough response time, or lack of urgency. For example, masks were only made obligatory on June 18th in California, whereas in Cuba, wearing a mask in public became compulsory on April 6th. At this point in time, in California alone, there were 33 times more cases than in all of Cuba. When people ignore these safety guidelines and decide to do something like having a party, just one person can spread COVID to a whole group of people. In summary, many other countries are reporting small amounts of cases as a result of more preparedness and seriousness in both the government and the general population. That's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Ashley Burton. And I'm Josiah Edwards. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have a Have great a day, day Wolfpack. Wolf